Hello, crafty friends. How are, is everybody doing today? Um, I just wanted to spend a little time today going over a quite large vintage thrifted fabric and lace. And typically, you know, we find stuff over the years, but to find so much stuff in one trip is just amazing so i just wanted to share with you also if you are interested in journaling getting started or um thinking about it the best way to find really beautiful vintage true vintage fabrics laces um to go is to go to um an estate sale thrift stores, antique shops. But this was at an estate sale really close to our house yesterday and I just couldn't even believe it that I had to share it with you. So here, starting here, I believe these were curtains. This is a sheer organza type fabric. I pinned it together because it's so sheer and slippery that just it's <laughs> starting to go crazy. But so this is one of um, the flowers that is on the panels. There are five panels and I believe they're about 68 wide by 20 inches long. Look how beautiful that is, right? Found some um, other little eyelet lace these have been washed and dried and you can't tell them, but they're iron. Found this long, long tablecloth. And on the end of each tablecloth were these beautiful flowers. I just cut it right off the tablecloth because this was like a hundred by, I don't even know, it was a huge tablecloth. But the trim on the tablecloths were these really wonderful flowers. And there's lots of them because the tablecloth was so long. And that is such a wonderful find. I, I couldn't even believe it. And here is, look at how gorgeous that is. I see a, um, a journal cover in our future here. These are just, this is, these are, um, round placemats. They're pretty big for placemats, but there are six of these. Can you believe it? Look how awesome that is. I was so excited. I couldn't even, I couldn't even take it. I was like, oh my goodness gracious. So this is a, the table matching table runner. Look how beautiful the flowers are. There's pinks and the leaves. You can fussy cut these out. And I think I'm going to be adding some to my um, new snippet roll that I'm actually working on. So I have to find room for one of these pretty pink flowers. There's pink and white, blue. Yeah, I think that's it, just the pink and the white and the blue. Oh, there's a yellow one here too. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I'm so excited I had to share it with you guys. So you find so many things, and I wasn't even going to go to this estate sale. I said, no, nah, I didn't really want to go. And I am so glad I, I went. Because <laughs> look, these are just little pieces of like lace, random little pieces. But the flowers on these guys are so nice because you can cut fussy cut these flowers out. Okay. I have no idea what this is, if someone could tell me what this is, but this was actually sewn down on the top here, up here. But I actually just cut it because I wanted you guys to see the detail in the flowers that are in here. Oh my God, look how gorgeous that is. I know I am gonna keep saying it because I can't help it. So, 
some vintage crochet doilies. Like I said, these have been washed and I wash them in a regular laundry, hot water, you name it, dryer. And I've even ironed some of the other fabrics. And this was on the end of a tablecloth also. I just cut it and I've actually used a piece of these on one of uh, our journals that we just made. I added it to a journal cover that's not completed yet. But see, isn't that awesome? All these little things you could add. And this was part of um, another tablecloth that had beautiful trim on it too. But look how beautiful that looks on there. That's just, these are finds that are just, I, I couldn't even take it. I was so excited. I called my husband right away. I don't know what this is. I guess this is just, um, I don't know. It's definitely crocheted and it's definitely old, but these flowers are beautiful. The intricacy of these pieces are awesome. Some, some little pieces here. So lovely. And some of them are just little, you know, random pieces, but. So going to estate sales, I've already chopped this up and used some of these squares. Look how beautiful this, these are. Going to estate sales is, is your best bet. Some antique stores charge a little more. I got a big grocery bag for $20. I don't know what this is, must be a cover for something, but super awesome. And then just, um, I don't know what this was for. It looked like someone had sewn this together, but this was just a, another little gorgeous piece of lace. These are just way too cute. I um, fussy cut these out and I add little um, pearls inside. And I add them to, you know, our snippet rolls. I use them on journal covers and you name it. Look how pretty that is. I get a lot of use out of that. Yeah, so estate sales. I mean, I got a big giant um, a grocery bag stuffed. This is kind of neat. This is a little, you don't really find pink that much, but I love the pink in the old vintage like tea rose colors and here this is another crochet piece I found lovely and this is just another one this one didn't do good in the dryer but and some of them are duplicates like these are duplicates these little round doilies Super lovely. This one got a little, um, a little out of shape, but this wasn't from our, my doing. It just, it was like this when I got it, but look how beautiful that is. Isn't that great? Like I said, I was just so excited and I'm just going to keep saying that they're great because they really are. And these little, these little flowers, look how beautiful that is. So uh, I couldn't I couldn't help myself. I got so excited. I, said, I have to share these with you guys because if you're junk journaling, like I said, if you're trying to get into junk journaling or um, crocheting or any type of scrapbooking, memory keeping, these old um, vintage uh, crochet pieces are wonderful. Even if you're doing like a memory box. How cute that would be for the background, right? And this is um, just some kind of vintage mesh. So nice, love it. Um, I don't know, it looks like someone was actually trying to sew that, make this. That's not a stain, it looks like somebody was trying to um, slow stitch a 
flower or something on it, which is really lovely. These two, I have Velcro on it. I think they were used as curtain, um, curtain stoppers, or holders, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but just awesome. Well, let's see. And this is a, looks like a tea table, um, tablecloth. It's round. And just the design is just so great. Like, you know, I, vintage pieces. I love vintage. You know, it gives a little, a little bit of history. And this was, you know, somebody else's. And we're giving it, we're giving things new life. And here at Vintage Style by Joe, we love, of course, anything vintage. So this is, I guess this would be like a tea table, a round, um, table topper crochet piece like you know if you had like a plant a planter table yes there's more so this is looks like a crochet table runner this is pretty big but so back in the day there was a lot of a lot of lace they used a lot of tea they had a lot of tea I guess because there's a lot of these tea table um, vintage lace pieces look how beautiful these roses are and the intricacy is just I'm amazed because these aren't appreciated anymore just look how pretty these little flowers are tell me you couldn't just put that on a um, a scrapbook cover, right? A journaling cover. Or you could use it for anything. You can cut out the flowers, fussy cut them out. And I could you can add them to a snippet roll. Lovely. Okay, so these were definitely curtains, you could tell because it has the top parts, but ladies and gents, look how pretty this is. These are hand embroidered flowers. Just, I mean, amazing, right? These are hand-embroidered flowers. Just lovely. I mean, you cannot nowadays get this in a shopping bag for 20 bucks, right? I was, I was amazed. I couldn't even believe it. So, let's see here. I have, these are little round doilies. They're a little sticky. So unique and fun, right? Okay, so these, very, very fun. These are definitely little um, embroidered. This, These are table runners and they're very long, but there's six of these, six. So I'm going to show you the flowers on here. Look how beautiful that is, right? And the design so these are little eyelet flowers or eyelet um, fabric with the little embroidered flowers on it again there's six of these like like oh my goodness right <laughs> so this was just a random fabric and I have to say that these fabrics were in excellent condition like like new condition um, these were washed i did iron these but these are little eyelet white flowers on here with the uh, yellow flowers and i probably got about three yards of this so there's a whole bunch there's all and they're random little pieces and this very soon will be going in a slow stitch kit this will be part of our spring jump into spring slow stitch kits so how lovely is that oh 
Okay, so let's see here. This is a table runner. This is quite long. Look at the detail in, on these. So the person that um, the owner of the, um, I don't know if it's the owner, but the person who was having the um, estate sale was, um, I guess her grandmother was an avid sewer and she crocheted and she had boxes and boxes of yarn that, you know, we had to um, take advantage of. So we had gotten roll, big giant rolls that would be $20 at a craft store we got for a dollar. So if you can believe that, that's why I always tell everybody when people ask, um, oh, here's more of the these guys. These must have been um, placemats, I'm guessing, because we got, I think, eight of them. I don't know who would pick a white crocheted doily fabric for placemats because it doesn't seem like <laughs> it would be so dirty all the time. Okay. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, so this is another table runner. This is just um, your basic white eyelet flower. I think I'm going to um, coffee dye these guys. Some of these um, white fabrics because I think the tea, dye, tea and coffee dye fabrics make it a little more vintage even though these, you guys, well, you guys and I know it. But look at these beautiful flowers on there. Right? Tell me we couldn't fussy cut all these flowers out and, and use them. Yeah, so some of these I am going to tea dye. And here's a, just another one. And how beautiful are these? This is a, um, like a shimmer type fabric. These must have been, um, I guess they're table runners. Just so lovely and awesome. Again, I had to share it. I had to, I had to tell somebody about it. So why not tell my pals on Instagram and YouTube? <laughs> okay, so this, I have no idea what this is, for what these are, were for. But if you can see, these are hand embroidered, like little green leaves like little French knots and I can't figure out what these are for their cut in pieces so somebody hand stitched these because you could tell you could still see the, the stitching and everything but this is going to be in our um, spring slow stitch kits so right now we have a couple of slow stitch kits available, but um, we definitely need to make more. Okay, here's some um, napkins. I'm not gonna show you these. These are kind of just your basic napkin, but they have the little lace on the end here. And again, there's eight of these guys. So how, and the amount of stuff that we got was unbelievable. Okay, I'm not going to show you all of these, but in this pile here, as you can see, there's a ton. These, um, I think there's actually 10 of these, but this is not white. These are actually a cream color, but such a, a pretty delicate eyelet fabric with the pretty laces on the end here the little ruffle lace and again these are pretty big and there's eight of these and not only are there eight of these but there's six um i guess there's i don't know if they were um placemats but there's six round ones Okay, now these are, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the rag shop that closed like 15 years ago or whatever. I'm not sure when. Look how beautiful these. It's still in the package. And a lot of the um, items that we found, the laces that we found were actually still in packages. 
that gorgeous. And these from the rag shop. Tell me that wouldn't look beautiful on a cover, a journal cover. I know I keep saying it. Okay, so I found the this too. I don't know <laughs> what it really is, but it's just a like a pretty like little linen fabric. And these cute little um vintage napkins. There's little embroidered flowers on the end of them. If you can see them. Now there's 12 of these, right? <laughs> love, love, love. Okay, this is the pile that loaded with color. And I actually got this at a separate thrift haul at um, an estate sale about a couple weeks ago. And I got about three grocery bags full of these. I'm just gonna go through, cause some of them are duplicates, but I'm just gonna go through um, a few of them to show you. So these are like vintage tapestry samples. How amazing, right? The color, you can even use this as a mini journal cover, right? The colors are just, again, these are light uh, tapestry type um, fabrics. These are nice and thick. Um, they seem to be um, waterproof. These have all been washed as well, but this is from another estate sale. And again, I got about three bags of these. Look how wonderful that is. I was very excited that day too. This actually makes up for 2020 when everything was closed and no one was doing estate sales and no one was, uh, the thrift stores were closed because they weren't essential. I personally think they're essential, but look how awesome these are. So this is like a uh, Victorian type. It has the lady on here. And I actually have this in several different, that same pattern in several different colors, but the swatches have different designs on them because they must have been cut from different pieces, but it has the lady, it has the pretty birds on it. And each panel is it has the same theme, but they're just, they don't have the same design. So this one is here in blue. And you can see here, there's the, the eagles with the um, lady here, and it's quite different. But the colors are just amazing, absolutely amazing. So we have some more like Roman style fabrics here. Just lovely, so, so awesome. I love lots of color. I mean, you know, sometimes the um, creams and the whites get a little drab but um, how wonderful this, this is actually like a shiny type um, curtain fabric. It's lighter, it's like a, a medium weight and it's almost has like a, a nice shine. And I did iron these, I don't know what happened. I guess being all together, so okay. Here's another tapestry sample piece, right? How, I, I mean, I just can't even, I can't even tell you how excited I was. These are just the colors and some people don't do bold. I'm not like the big bold color person, but I do love these. I love the patterns. Again, another tapestry piece. I don't know which, I guess this is the right side here. Beautiful, beautiful designs. Awesome. So I am going to be making, I, I think this is the one I'm actually going to be making and using this as a journal cover. So this will be part of a spring collection too. So how pretty is that as a cover, right? This would be the front, back. I think I did decide I was gonna do that. Okay, so here's some more Roman pieces. I don't know what I would be using that for, but I just couldn't help myself. Okay, so some smaller I guess that's the front, smaller pieces here. 
these are um, tapestry samples as well. So let me go through these guys and show you the different um, patterns here. So we have the stripes, the goals, and I probably have an entire grocery bag just filled with all different types of these little tapestry samples. Very thick fabric, like a furniture upholstery fabric. These are really, really, really nice. I mean, these are very thick. They still even have some of the paper on it from when they do the swatches. They have them hanging. <laughs> and these guys, I don't know if you can see that from here. The fall leaves. It's a little odd color to see. So I have that in, in the um, olive and the gold. And then the, um, <clears throat> the cream with the yellow flowers. And then this one. I don't know what happened. I, I definitely ironed all these. And these. If you could see it the different patterns. And I got so many of these too. I think there's probably about 30 or 40 different um, pieces of these. How beautiful these little flowers are, these fall leaves. These are great for the fall collection. So that's what we are gonna work on with those. And then yeah, we have this one too. Oh, and this one. Oh, we have bags of these. So there's like a little raised type leaf pattern. You can't see it from here, but they are a little raised. And we have more of these. How gorgeous is that? And then we have more of these. So I have these. And this particular uh, pattern in a multitude of colors. I think this is in red and gold, um, this brown, this one too. This is in blue and pinks and um, I think several other colors as well. Oh yeah, here. Okay, so. To make a long story short, we have some more panel fabrics here. This is really great. And then these guys, last but not least. These have little, little geisha ladies on them. And these are in a bunch of colors too. They are in the yellows, blues, and then there's reds and the designs are, to are very different. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I just wanted to share with you the, the endless limits of thrifting and estate sales and all the wonderful things that you can get while you are make, doing your estate sales. So we use here uh, estatesales.net. You just type in your zip code um, it asks you how far you want to drive. You could do 15, 20 miles, 30 miles, whatever. However you're willing, far you're willing to go. And they will list them. And every once in a while you just get, um, you just get real lucky. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, it is just tremendous. And uh, thank you for watching. I, I'm so glad I was able to share that with you. So uh, we are working on our new snippet rolls and I will be adding some um, of my new laces and my new flowers to this roll, which will be ready for sale um, within a few days. Gotta add some little tchotchkes. But again, thank you so much for watching everybody and um, have a great day or a great night, and um, I will be talking to you soon. Thank you.